To scan supraspinatus, it's very important to get the patient position correct. We don't use the crass or semi-crass position. We just need to make sure that the form, forearm is neutral so the hand isn't on the leg and we bring the elbow into as much extension as you require to ensure that you can see enough of supraspinatus. What we then do is we find the long head of biceps sitting within the bicipital groove. The next thing we do to get a transverse image of supraspinatus is to come laterally round the arm to bring the long head of biceps to the side of the screen. We're then gonna heel the probe in to get the long head of biceps to the bottom of the hill, which is the greater tuberosity. Carefully scanning the shape of the bone, ensuring that the bone is kept nice and bright, we bring the probe up and over to visualize the supraspinatus in transverse section, trying to keep the bone bright and seeing a nice parallel band of tendon. So here we can see the supraspinatus in cross section with the long head of biceps to the left. As we come round the back, we can see the change in fiber orientation, which is the infraspinatus in long section. Over the top, we have the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. It's important to visualize all the way through the tendon coming up and over to see all the fibers, particularly on the footprint. To find a longitudinal section of supraspinatus, we simply spin on the tendon, bring the greater tuberosity into the middle of the screen. Now it's important to find out where we are on the tendon and to find that out, we must push the probe forward until we go into the bicipital groove. So the greater tuberosity falls away and the biceps comes in long section. That means we know that we're in long section with if we come back round laterally, we then hit the greater tuberosity, we straighten up by just towing down the probe, and there we can see the longitudinal fibers of supraspinatus. Now, we need to ensure that we scan all the way through supraspinatus until we get to infraspinatus. So we scan again, feeling the shape of the bone until the tuberosity flattens out, and we see a change in fiber orientation on top of the tuberosity, and that's the infraspinatus coming in over the top of supraspinatus in transverse section. And again, it's important to scan through supraspinatus all the way from the long head of biceps through to where infraspinatus comes in.